have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. I'll be the first to admit I don't spend enough time in Red Dead Online. There's tons of new content for the channel, and I do have a fully customized character who looks like me, but I'd still rather play as Arthur. I'm your friendly neighborhood Super Antonio, and please be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell if you would enjoy seeing more of my Red Dead Redemption 2 content. However, there are some new horses that bear investigation, so here is Super Antonio underscore capital Y capital T on PS4 at the San Denis Stables to check them out. These new horses are all part of the version 1.26 Bounty Hunters expansion pack. Again, only in Red Dead Online. So many new Missouri Foxtrotters online, starting of course with the familiar story mode Silver Dapple and Amber Champagne. Here's the Blue Roan Missouri Foxtrotter. Very pretty, and look at that tiny diamond blaze. And a black Tovero. You know I love this one. Look at his black ears and white face. Tovero refers to a horse whose coloration is a mixture of Tobiano and Overo. The Buckskin Brindle. Now that is a very dark buckskin, reminiscent of the reverse dapple black thoroughbred to me. Look at how his mane falls in his eyes like an angsty emo teen. This one has an attitude. Watch out. And then the Dapple Gray Missouri Foxtrotter, which seems pretty similar to the Dapple Gray Thoroughbred, at least as far as coats go, but with that pretty pink nose and a white mane. Personally, I would go for the Black Tovero. However, here I am trying to negotiate with the stable owner, despite the fact that I have no money and no gold. The stable owner tells me to get out of my stable, go do some bounties and level up. However, channel moderator Serena from Star Hearts has plenty of cash and went for the Buckskin Brindle Missouri Foxtrotter, who she named Midnight Moon. Serena went for a silver tail and a black and white mane, which really highlights that pink nose. And she equipped a Nakadocha saddle. Looking good, Star Hearts. And that is a good looking horse, the closest we have to Baylock, at least for now. Baylock with a white face. What is interesting to me is regardless if you play online or not, these files are on your console. This horse is taking up space on your hard drive, along with all of those accessories, the navy revolver, even Baylock. It would be very easy for the devs to write a couple lines of code and release them into story mode for Arthur and John. It might mess up cutscenes, but they would be there for free roam. If and when they will ever do this is an entirely different subject, but the potential, the possibility exists, and that is intriguing to me. I find online so familiar and yet so unfamiliar to me. I assume it's the random chaos factor of the other players in addition to all of the new content. That is very attractive to many players, but for me I prefer the control and precision of story mode and single player. Regardless, that is a fine horse you have there, Starhearts. Well done, friend. This video is sponsored by viewers like you. Consider joining the channel and becoming a member for deputy badges by your name, custom emoticons in the premiere chats, end credits in every video, and daily members-only community posts featuring my random musings on life, TV and movie reviews, and exclusive photos. Serena has been with the channel since we started. She is part of the first 100 subs. Look for her in the chat and comments under Star Hearts. She plays a lot of games in addition to Red Dead Online and Story Mode, and I am very fortunate to have her as a mod. I am Super Antonio. Thanks for watching. I appreciate your views. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell for daily Red Dead Redemption 2 content. We shall meet again. Further on down the trail... Hey... He was my husband.